Sana Dream Perke Mishnah Aleph first Mishnah in the fifth chapter second Sana Dream. Says the Mishnah, Hayu Bodkinotan. Now we're talking about the evaluation of the Adim. So the two witnesses presented themselves and said, We saw such and such do such and such. So they would b- do Bdika, they would check them. The first Besheva Chakira. A Chakira, where we said, remember, it's called Jerisha and Chakira. We had, to read it, we had like two different kinds of distinctive kinds of, of examinations. Jerisha and Chakira, or Jerisha and Chakira, depending on how you say it. Jerisha and Chakira are the evaluation of the facts. And then there's Bdikot, which is we're going to see is surrounding information. So what are the seven Chakirot that they would do? Be'ezah Shavua, during which Shemitah cycle? Be'ezah Shan, meaning you never know, maybe they came by, they did, there's no time, you know, statute of limitations. They came 10 years later. Be'ezah Shana, what year? Be'ezah Chodesh, what month? Be'kamba B'chodesh, what day of the month? Be'ezah Yom, what day of the week? Be'ezah Sha'a, what time of the day? Be'ezah Makom, and where was it? Meaning they said, you know, Saicho Bob, Bob killed uh, Bart Simpson. And so they say, okay, when and where? How? Rabbi Yossi, Amir Yom. Rabbi Yossi says, no, they would just say, what day, what time, and what place? Okay? Now, you don't have to have seven. You only have to have, you only have to have, uh, you only have to have three. The Chazal say seven because they learn, Kineget Sheva Lishonot Shenemu Mikra. Okay, it says, Vidarashta, Vachakakta, Vachalta. There are seven languages. Of evaluation, one, two, and the rest of the seven, you can look it up in the pasuk. Okay, but we learn we learn that from there you learn you have to have seven chakirot. Why do you have to have these chakirot? The Bartunera says shakol sheva chakirot halalu. All of these seven uh, investigations hazama. They are they can bring a person to the edim to, to become edim zomin. What is edim zomin? We're going to see in a second makot. If, if two witnesses come and say we saw Saito Bob kill Bart Simpson. It on the riverboat, okay, and then uh, uh, on this and this day, this and this time, and other witnesses come along and say, "How could you say that? You weren't on the riverboat. You were with us back in Springfield at exactly that time." That's called Adim Zomamin, and the punishment of Adim Zomamin is that, that what what they wanted to do happens to them. Any other kind of if you can disprove testimony any other way, that's called Hakhasha, okay, meaning contradiction, and then we just send them home. But Hazama. The, you give them, you give the Edom Zomin what they wanted to do to other people, okay? Without, and without knowing all of these details, then you wouldn't be able to make them Edom Zomin. Rabbi Yossi Omer Be'ezah Yom, Rabbi Yossi says you don't need seven, rather what day, Be'ezah Sha'a, Be'ezah Makom. Okay, what day, what time, and what place. And obviously, you know, the, the first four, what year, what Shemitah, what month, what day of the month, is the same, but Ezeyom. Ezeyom probably, would, you know, if we're talking about, you have to know which specific day we're talking about. So in essence, he's not disagreeing per se. Then they ask, Makiri Matemoto, do you know him? He trades him, but did you give him a warning? Because without a warning, there is no punishment. There's no Malchut or Mita. Alveda Bodhazara, if he's, if he worshipped, if they testified that he worshipped idolatry, et mi avad, uba me avad. What idol did he worship? How did he worship it? So the Bartunera says, all of these things are, so enomene chakirot, shemi vi'odi hazama. These are not the chakirot that bring to hazama. Now this is the second time we had drisha chakira, and then we're going to have bdikot. Rather, they, are, they, they can do other investigations. They can ask, he worshipped idols. What color was the idol? Where was he standing? How was he standing? These are bdikot. Because we want if if that the two witnesses don't jive, if they don't say the same testimony, that's called edut mukheshet, contradictory testimony. Then we'll throw out the testimony. Maybe one won't say the same as the other. And then everybody's off the hook. So we, in addition to the Bidikot, the Chakirot, we do these Bidikot to find out. I mean, to find, we're going to see that the Bidikot can be, can be just in order to get the basic information. But it can, it can become much deeper. You can, you, can, you can go into far, far greater information. All right, we'll stop here and dedicate our learning to my father, Harab. Have a good day.